time to build a proper broadcast band high pass filter for my micro bit X. The single inductor solution I had made a big difference, but it's still not enough. And it's frustrating when you have an otherwise good receiver being marred by artifacts from AM broadcast stations. Many other micro bit X builders have also needed to build a broadcast interference filter. A popular one is by VK4PLN, who's also designed a circuit board for it. Nick based his filter on something designed by VK3IL. VK3IL's filter had a cutoff just below 3.5 MHz. That's best for optimum performance, but if you've got a filter with as many sections as this, even if you had it for a frequency like 2.5 MHz, that should give a fair amount of attenuation to the broadcast band down below 1.7. So there's a bit of flexibility to have slightly higher values. Multiplying the values by about 1.5 gives you a cutoff down around 2.5 to 2.8 MHz. That gives you reception of the 90 meter short wave broadcasting band around 3.3 to 3.4 megahertz and possibly more significantly WWV down on 2.5 megahertz. Though you'd expect that down at 1.8 megahertz, 160 meter reception would be very much attenuated, though you might still hear some of the stronger signals. As for the inductance values, VK3IL used 1.6 microhenry. 1.45 and 1.6. Capacitor values are 1500 PF, 560 PF and 1500. Another benefit of changing the cutoff frequency from 3.5 to about 2.6 MHz is that you can use pre-round 2.2 microhenry RF chokes. That makes construction easier, especially if you want to pack it all in a small space. As for the capacitors, 2.2 nanofarad, 820 picofarad, and 2.2 nanofarad. You'll notice that I'm lazy and I've used the same inductances for all three inductors. That's a little bit different to the VK3 IL design where the inductor in the middle is slightly smaller. But the differences in the original design were less than 10%, and in this non critical application, I suspect that performance will be just fine even with the identical inductors. As for the circuit board, you could use the really nice one that VK4PLN has designed, or you could just get a piece of single-sided circuit board material and with a hacksaw cut out the islands. This is your common earth part, and these islands are where you mount the components onto. Here's the completed filter, now for installation into the micro bit X. This is how the unmodified bit X sounds when tuning across 80 meters. As you can hear, there's very loud interference around 3530. Here's another one. So as you can hear, it's pretty bad and definitely needs the filter. Most people put their filters in this part of the bit X, just near Y1, the 45 megahertz crystal filter. As you can see, despite not using surface mount components, my board is small enough to fit in comfortably. And in fact, it blends in quite well. The filter will be inserted just here. There need to be connections to either side of the filter via these capacitors and also to ground. Fortunately, there's two convenient ground points. You just need a short jumper from the board 
to the left side of what is marked C210 and another one from here to what is marked the right side of 216. But before we do any of that, we need to cut this trace. Probably the most fiddly part of fitting the filter is to break the connection in the receive antenna line. To do that, you need to use a hobby knife and very carefully and persistently scrape this section off track away. You also need to scrape further along the track to the left and again to the right to provide a connection point for the filter. You know you have succeeded when there's an open circuit as tested on a multimeter between here and here. The filter board is in and if you don't mind me saying it looks a very neat job. That probably means it's not going to work. Let's give it a shot anyway. At least on 80 metres, I think we can call the filter a success. Let's tune down and see if we can detect where it cuts off. I haven't adjusted the antenna coupler, that might also affect the received noise level. It's still picking up quite a lot at 3 megahertz. As you can hear, down at 2.4 megahertz, 2.3 megahertz, the noise has dropped dramatically. Down at 160 meters, it's very quiet, though you can blame half of that on the antenna. And down on the broadcast band, You can still hear stations, but they are dramatically attenuated. This has been our filter for the Microbit X. Simple to build, no coil winding, and just seven components. Build one, and you'll be amazed at the difference you'll get in receiving quality, particularly on 80 meters. You've built your Microbit X, now how do you get the most out of it? You need minimum QRP an ebook available for under $5 US or as a paperback in some countries. Minimum QRP discusses the equipment, antennas, operating and strategy you need to succeed with low power amateur communication. Thousands have been sold. Just search the title on Amazon or visit my website vk3ye.com.